Okay, so here's the interesting thing. This episode and the next episode are supposedly filler on the filler list. It's the official filler list, so I guess I know what they're talking about. I can't question it. But I noticed when I was queuing it up, they're still doing the intro thing with the with the map and the ship. So I wonder if what we're going to be doing these next two episodes is going to be some side story with some other characters. Or maybe we get to see what the duck's up to, which I guess wouldn't have happened in the manga if it's not canon. I'm very curious what the hell we're going to do for the next 40 minutes of showtime if these are two filler episodes. Not skipping them. We've already had this conversation. But I'm curious because I thought it'd be we would be at the end of a story arc. And then they'd have two filler episodes and we start a new story arc. But clearly we're not, I mean, we are not even close to being done with this story arc, it seems like. So how are you going to insert filler into the middle of a story arc? That's curious. So I'm, cl- I'm curious how they're going to do that. In the meantime, you know where we are and you know where we're going. Three, two, one. I always like these wrap-ups. A little bit more information each time. For instance, I wasn't sure if it had, how long it had been, but three years. Like that's a, probably not new information, but it reiterates something I didn't pick up on. So I'm into it. <laughs> yeah, those Venus fly traps and the purple lizards—they mean business. Maybe what we're going to do is they're just going to be wandering in the desert, which didn't happen in the manga, right? Like, probably in the manga, the next thing that happens is they get to where they're going, so. Maybe it would be like a character exploration. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what a sump. Um... Can't handle it, man. He's been in the desert too much lately. What happens to rubber when it gets too hot? It melts. Nope. They won't be. What footprints? There's wind. The wind be coming out random at all times, man. Yep. It feels fillery. (laughs) How do you know? I think he's starting to hallucinate. <laughs> oh, really? What do you drink? Oh. That's supposed to be a good source of water, isn't it? Cactus? Cacti? Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, I see. So, basically, we're going to have pink elephants on parade. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. 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 You know what? I like his LSD eyes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Knock his ass out. I like the little sound effects when they when I realize something. Dun! They realize something, right? It's cool. Yep, you better hurry. Yeah, this this is the problem with the D brothers. No sense of direction. Oh, so now all of a sudden he's normal. Does he have a higher metabolism? Because of his uh, rubberness? <laughs> Kick his ass. They are way too abusive, man. All of them. Then they're breathing hard because they just exerted too much effort kicking the crap out of him, you know? It's like uh, Beetle Bailey. The Sergeant Beetle Bailey is abusive. Leave him as a little grease spot on the floor, you know? There was a time when I was a kid I thought that that's what happened in the Army, like that your superior officer beat the shit out of you. Oh, yes. there is. It is a desert ship. We didn't get a good look last time. I f- effing knew it. I effing knew they were going to do a desert ship. That just seems like that kind of show, right? I'm not saying I'm a genius. I'm not even saying I deserve a cue card. I'm just saying that seems like that kind of show. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, I see. So what happens is a desert ship... Doesn't exist in a manga. That's what's going on. Okay. So this whole thing, this two episodes of like rescuing these people never happens. Okay. Hey, I'm going to enjoy it. Y'all can hate if you want to. 
<laughs> That's right, kick their asses. Uh oh. Well, you know, his hunger and thirst kind of weakens him. So that makes it a fair fight, right? <laughs> Hmm. Oh, crap. Well, that's a problem. Is he too big to fry up? Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> hey, you guys got any water? Hey, I'm on point today. Yeah, get me drunk. Not the fun kind. Yes, camel, by the way, apparently camel meat's really expensive and it's really good. I was watching a Good Mythical Kitchen recently. Hmm. The Barber Sand Pirates, huh? How big is this island, by the way? It seems like it's got to be bigger than... Uh, maybe it's like Australia, right? Because it's got to be bigger than Hawaii for all this climate and stuff. Whereas uh, Australia is big enough, it has desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barbarossa. Yeah, we're all friends here. Wait, so you're hungry too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he says he didn't mind. He didn't say anything about you. You're screwed. I like every now and then when the, the crowd just chimes up with the same, like to emphasize a point that somebody makes, right? It's almost like a musical, right? They're all in time. Sand pirates just doesn't seem like you'd make enough money. Because what do you do? You, I guess you rob caravans? <laughs> I think we're ready to quit. By the way, I like how they all have sun uh, umbrellas. They all have sun umbrellas in their hats. As hats. You know, it feels functional. That's right. Barbecued lobster. All you need is some drawn butter. Now we're talking. You didn't eat him? What a waste. That seems to be his catchphrase, by the way. Really? You want some of this too? Barbecue it. I ain't got time for this. Roasted lizard. He seems to find energy when, when somebody says there's something to eat or drink out there. <laughs> hey, I like your little sand dinghy. <laughs> sure thing, boss. Sand sledder. Do you have any words that don't start with the word sand? Nope. Sand sled, sand sledder, sand ship, sand pirates. We eat sand sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess would just be sandwiches, right? The hell you want it. What's your problem? That is cool. Doesn't she look just like that chick that's with Smoker? Accent, probably. Everybody's an accent, right? Shut up, simp. I don't know. I don't like that evil grin on her face. She, I bet she knows exactly who she is. Now we're talking. Yeah, he's out of here. <laughs> Let's 
Let's go. Get in. <laughs> you know, his psychotic looks pretty scary. Just get in. I don't think he did anything wrong. She just wasn't in it, right? Uh, get your ass in there. I don't know. This, those people seem ominous for some reason. Why? Why are you so ominous? Now, we need to fill out another episode. We can't do that yet. Hey, camel meat's great and very expensive, according to Good Mythical Kitchen. <laughs> oh, but he's sentient. You can't eat a sentient camel. Yeah, that's one of those kind of jokes. It's not a joke. What's up with that? Yep. Yeah. Can't be trusted. She seemed evil. Look at him. He seems evil, too. They're probably with the rebels. She knows what she's doing. We got this. Wait, did they say quicksand? Because quicksand happens with water. You can't have quicksand in a desert, I don't think. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. Can't be trusted, as usual. Ah, flashback, huh? Oh. Guess not. Thought they were in flashback. Something happened when she was a kid. It's almost like a um, whirlpool. You know, in an ocean. I think that's what they're going off of here. Yeah, because he seems like an idiot, right? So no matter how he seems, that's a big boy, by the way. A slight change of people's hearts, huh? What's that about? He knows what that means. Again, ominous, like I was saying before. Huh. Those seem like some angry camels. We can eat those camels. Can we really go to battle stations when our ship is destroyed? Dude, I'm just saying. Roasted lizard. I warned him. <laughs> yeah, you may want to look behind him there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you better be scared. You know what they say? F around and find out. So the desert pirates don't like desert bandits. What's the difference? Desert bandits don't have a ship? That seems to be the only difference I think it can think of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. They've been waiting for this. He feels like he could take out 12 of them by himself. He's a big guy. That's right. <laughs> what is this, a pub? That may be the... The best line he's ever had, which I know is not a high bar, but, you know. Alrighty, well, this has nothing to do with us, so I guess we'll be on our way. What is the, what is the beetle doing? Uh, grand dung beetle, so he must be a large beetle, okay. Is that dung that he has? Oh, it is. 
Okay, that feels like something that would not be in the manga for sure. Really? So this could be a, a dung ex machina. <laughs> That's how they're going to get rid of these sand bandits, huh? Really? I guess even the big guys have something that's bigger than them. Like a big ball of shit. Somebody greenlit this idea. Somebody. <clears throat> somebody greenlit that. Somebody said, you know what? Let's go with the big ball of shit. And then they, and somebody in the network approved it. He got flattened by it, huh? Really? So, one dung beetle and you're, you quit, huh? <laughs> Man, what is up with Usap? He's killing it today. Just bang, 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 bang. What are you trying to prove here, lady? She's trying to test her? See if she's worthy? Is that what it is? Oh, crap. What's up? <laughs> really? This is what we're doing, huh? Yeah, <laughs> nice try. A-hole. And now we're in front of you. Chump. Big Mad. Well, you know, the Oasis doesn't last forever if you never get any rain, huh? Something about this art style makes the characters when they were kids super cute. It's hilarious. It's already kind of an endearing, charming kind of art style when they're older, right? But when they're kids, it just makes them very adorable. Right, and he did not come rushing, did he? Gotcha. She's definitely with the Rebels. Yeah, I remember you. I remember laughing at how stupid you were. Yep. Eventually I joined the Sand Pirates. Now I believe in nothing. She's acting like it's a long time. It's, it's only been three years, right? Now, it was longer since she was a kid and they had this conversation, but it's only been three years since the drought came, right? Hey, they're explanations. They're not excuses. That's why I tried to kill you. Big Med. Not without reason. Oh, I like that line a lot. I like that line. Eventually, I couldn't distinguish between dawn and dusk. That is like a fire line. That is excellent. That's why they showed her to start with, right? A little kid looking out at the sun. I knew we were going to get a flashback coming from that. Yeah. It all feels like bullshit. You suck. TV Tropes calls this the reason you suck speech. <laughs> Let me lay out the exactly chapter and verse. The reasons why you and your father and your kingdom suck. Ooh, look at what they're doing with the shadow, man. Tell you what, man, you can talk about filler all you want to. This is fire. They had a great line that did the thing with the shadow, doing a lot with the visuals, man. If fillers of punishment, chain me to the wall. Other than that dung beetle thing, that was stupid. <laughs> like, you can miss me with all that. But this, this is fire.
Yep. Really? He's not wrong about that. Now it belongs to nobody. He feels like a deep thinker for somebody that looks like Conan the Barbarian. Or Gru. <laughs> Finally. Uh oh, made it back to the ship. Okay. They oh they went they went and got wood for the mass. Okay, I get it now. I'm a dumbass. I get it. That's why they're bringing the mass the wood back. Yep. You can see the vision, you can see how they're gonna end up right where they started and then get to the Yuba. So but hey, that was really good. 95% of that was excellent. The other 5%, pfft. but you know how I feel about that. <laughs>